Hello and welcome to TechBrunch. My name is Will and today we are going to be doing a review and demo of HIDA2. Now HIDA2 encrypts data that you put into this vault. It can be JPEGs, videos, notes, whatever you have on your Mac into this and it encrypt it and it hide it from everything so no one were able to see it at all. Only you can you know, let people see it by logging into this application and making it either visible or non-visible. So this is the interface you can see here. This is the actual, you know, lock screen of the app. So if you type in the password that you can choose and open it like so, this is what you get. This is the UI. It's absolutely brilliant. It's it's very minimal. It's very straight to the point. You can see here this is the primary vault and then down here this is the secure notes. So if you're going to say I've got these two photos here, I've got one from the Eiffel Tower and one of my car. Highlight both of these and then drag and drop them into the vault. You can see they are now unticked as visible. If I go and click these icons here, it's now made it visible on my Mac. So other people that will go on this Mac will then see the photos that I've added to this vault. If I click this again, this will make it non-visible so now I'm able to see what is in here or what is on my Mac. So you can either choose to unhide all items, so it does it all in one go, and then you can do the same thing here, like so, uh, and you've got unhide selected items and also remove selected items, so you can remove them if you do wish to do so. Um, you can press the icon button there, which obviously brings up another window, so you can add things directly into it, um, and that's pretty much it from there. Or you can add a new group, so you can call it this, photos videos and whatever else you want to call it. Um, now coming into the secure notes you can see here this is its own area as in like this is no other app from from what you'll get on your Mac so this is just the apps note taking software if it makes any sense at all. Um, so as you can see here I put a title as this is a test note and down here this is the text I put in here and this is a test note. Um, again you can right click and you can better delete and you can basically get a little message saying are you sure you want to delete this selected note? Yes. And then if you want to go and add a new note, you just basically press the plus icon and you can just basically start, you know, writing writing out what you want to write out. And then no one else will be able to see this, only you. Um and that's basically it really. That's all you get on this app. You get a primary vault and secure notes. Command and the apostrophe will open up the preferences. And you can see here there isn't much. You've got general password shortcuts and advanced. Uh, in the general, you have the use menu bar assistant. This basically will help um, to keep in a quick access icon in your status bar, which is up here, which you can then just you know toggle visible and non-visible. Um, and also you have launch assistant and login, which you can do if you want to. Uh, lock hider when idle, so you can choose 15 to 30 seconds. Uh, win crit in hider, ask to hide all files, hide all files automatically, or do not uh, do nothing with files. Um, so when the app crashes, you can send anonymous usage data to MacPaw if you do wish to do so. Uh, then you've got the backup hider password in Keychain. So if you want to, you can backup your password in Keychain. So if you forget it, you can go to Keychain and unlock the password for this. Shortcuts, basically hotkeys, so you can do... Um, quicker commands like hide all files and lock hider uh, and also you got advanced so raise remaining file data is clearly after hiding uh, and enough that here you have show files in finder automatically after unhiding so you can just tick these ones you do wish to do so and you can change the primary vault location so that's pretty much it guys this is the application itself nothing much to it is simple and easy to use if you want to see more information, then please do check the link down below. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do get a thumbs up. That would be muchly appreciated. And uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And I think I'm, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.